So we're gonna start with what a sleep brand is and why you should build one. A sleep brand is exactly what it sounds like. It's a brand that you build separately from your general practice that focuses only on sleep apnea treatment. This instantly makes you an expert in the area. It's going to show that expertise to the market that thinks that they have a sleep problem and not a dental problem. Sleep apnea is often lost in the mix of your general practice brand and separating it out will serve you long-term to scale the brand out, be able to treat and see more patients and proceed from there as an expert in sleep apnea treatment. Think about if you need a mechanic. You're going to go online and do research to find a mechanic that works on cars that are your make and your model. Your sleep apnea patients are doing the exact same thing. They're not going to drive down the freeway and just pull into any random mechanic they look for, and they're not gonna to go to just any practitioner to treat their medical problems. They're looking for an expert. There are many elements to building a cohesive brand strategy that can help take this vision and put it into practice. Combining your internal and external factors, including the things in your area and your vision for the practice are key. So internally, you wanna focus on what your vision for the practice is a month from opening, a year from opening and five years from opening. We work with dentists all over the country that open a sleep practice for various reasons. Those reasons can be transitioning to something that is a little less physical and emotionally taxing the general dentistry to opening a new revenue streams that are going to be financially lucrative in the future. Those things don't have to be the center of your brand message, but building those out and kind of setting that internal benchmark is key to helping you connect with the brand. If you as the practitioner cannot connect with the brand, it's very hard to help it connect with your patients, to help it connect with your internal staff, and really see the long-term vision for what you would like it to be. Once you've completed that internal research and kind of set those business benchmarks, it's time to look externally. This can be done very simply, and we do it all the time. Go into Google, go into your Google Maps, and just type in sleep apnea treatment near you. How are other people positioning their services? How are they naming their brands? These are all factors that we'll consider when we're building out this brand strategy. And you'll also gain some really nice insights to understand how things are being talked about, how the positioning is made, and then how you as a new business would like to help position your services and your feel for the brand. Once you've kind of established that entry level competitor research, you can also look locally how many people are practicing in your areas. If you're not going to be practicing in your office and you're opening up a new facility, it might be wise for you to take a look around to see open office spaces near nine other sleep physicians may not be the best place to position yourself when you could go down the street and have a little bit less competition. Most of your initial patients that will come to you will be within a five mile bubble of your business. If you're in larger cities or outside in rural areas, that may be a little bit different because people will travel a little bit further to see a specialist. But doing that research to make sure that you're not going in an overly condensed area and making sure that you are going to be able to differentiate yourself right off the bat is something that could serve you in the long term as well. You also want to look at kind of the sentiment all of these brands have and think about how you want to talk about your brand, how you want people to feel about your brand and how you want to kind of help bridge that connection gap between all of the emotional connotations and the emotional factors that go into having sleep apnea understanding that you may need help with something and how you want people to feel when they see your brand, when they come into your office and when they leave your office and even after when they talk about your office, if they've received treatment, so on and so forth, you wanna make sure that you kind of take some inspiration from the people around you. You might see things that you like, you might also see things that you don't like and just note those down when you're starting this process to help you understand hey, I really want to have a feel of holistic care, or I really want to have a professional and modern feel. All of those things will kind of bridge you down the gap to how you want your logo to look and how you want to talk about things on your website, so on and so forth. So this internal and external view of the brand will help you deliver and create a very strong mission and vision for your brand. This mission and vision will be your guidepost to help you in all of your marketing efforts and branding efforts moving forward. And it's something that you really need to believe in, something that you could stand by if you were to meet somebody in an elevator or talk to someone uh, walking down the street. You wanna be able to have a strong and clear vision for what you are doing, why you're doing it, and what your outcome is going to be once you do that. Your unified message should unify all the way through your brand. So if someone sees one sentence about you, they can get a clear guide on what you do, or if they read a 3,000 page article that you've published, they're also going to get that same feel.